Have you ever wondered how instant coffee works? What's the secret behind those tiny granules that instantly turn into a hot, delicious cup of coffee? It seems like magic, but it's not. How does coffee in just a few seconds go from powdered granules to a hot, satisfying drink? Today, let's explore how freeze-dried magic turns instant coffee into a steaming cup in seconds. The story of instant coffee goes back quite a long time. It wasn't always as convenient as it is today. In fact, instant coffee as we know it was first invented back in 1890 in Invercargill, New Zealand. Imagine living in a time when brewing coffee took a long time, and you couldn't just grab a cup in seconds. David Strang, a brilliant inventor, came up with the idea of creating a form of coffee that would dissolve instantly in hot water. His invention, called Strang's Coffee, was the beginning of instant coffee. This wasn't the only time instant coffee was created. Over the years, there have been different versions of instant coffee. The most famous one today is Nescafe, which became widely available in the 1930s. But the concept of making coffee faster wasn't only about convenience. It also had a major role to play in wartime history. During World War II, the U.S. Army started using instant coffee as part of soldiers' rations. Soldiers in the field didn't have the luxury of brewing fresh coffee, so instant coffee was the perfect solution. It was lightweight, easy to store, and could be prepared quickly. The soldiers loved it, and when the war ended, instant coffee began to gain popularity worldwide. Now that we know a bit about the history of instant coffee, let's talk about how it's made. The process of creating instant coffee is both simple and fascinating. There are two main ways to make instant coffee, freeze drying and spray drying. We're going to focus on the freeze drying process because it's the one that creates the best coffee flavor. First, coffee beans are roasted, just like the coffee we brew at home. Roasting is done in large machines that heat the beans until they turn a rich brown color, bringing out all the flavors and aromas that make coffee so delicious. After roasting, the beans are ground into a fine powder, just like you would for regular coffee. Next, the coffee powder is turned into a coffee extract by mixing it with hot water. This extract is essentially a very concentrated version of coffee. But here's where the magic happens. Freeze drying. In this process, the coffee extract is quickly frozen and then placed under a vacuum. The vacuum removes the water from the extract, turning it into a dry, solid form without losing any of the coffee's rich aroma or flavor. The frozen coffee is then broken down into small granules that are sifted and sorted by size. These granules are packaged, and when you add hot water to them, they dissolve instantly, giving you a quick and delicious cup of coffee. It's as simple as that. You might be wondering why freeze drying is so important. Well, freeze drying preserves more of the flavor and aroma of coffee than other methods. This is because freezing the coffee extract quickly helps maintain its natural properties. When coffee is made through the traditional brewing method, some of the flavors are lost in the water. But with freeze drying, almost all the flavor is locked in. Although freeze drying is more expensive than other methods, it's worth it for the quality of the final product. Plus, it allows instant coffee to have a long shelf life, making it perfect for people who want to stock up and keep it around for a long time. At this point, you might be wondering, what makes instant coffee different from regular coffee? The main difference lies in the process. Regular coffee is made by brewing ground coffee beans with hot water, which extracts the coffee's flavors and oils. After brewing, you're left with coffee and the leftover coffee grounds. But instant coffee is different because it's already concentrated into a soluble form, and all the coffee is dissolved into your drink. Another difference is that instant coffee is more convenient. There's no need for coffee filters, special machines, or even a grinder. You just need a mug, some instant coffee, and hot water. This makes it a perfect solution for people on the go, travelers, or anyone who doesn't want to deal with the mess and time it takes to brew a pot of coffee. Now, let's talk about how you can make the perfect cup of instant coffee. It's super simple. Here are the steps. Pick your favorite mug. Start with a mug that you love and feel comfortable holding. Add two teaspoons of instant coffee. You can adjust this depending on how strong you want your coffee. Boil your water. Once the water is boiling, let it rest for about 30 seconds to cool slightly. This prevents the coffee from becoming too bitter. Stir and enjoy. Pour the hot water into the mug and stir the coffee until it's completely dissolved. Take a sip and enjoy your quick cup of coffee. For those who like a little extra flavor, you can add milk, sugar, or even flavored syrups. Instant coffee is very versatile. It's yellow and can be customized to your taste. 
Instant coffee has become a staple in many countries. In places like Portugal, Spain, and India, people often mix instant coffee with hot milk to create a creamy beverage. In South Korea, instant coffee is sold pre-mixed with sugar and non-dairy creamer, making it even more convenient for people to enjoy their coffee without any extra steps. In the UK, instant coffee is incredibly popular. In fact, more than 75% of coffee consumed in British homes is instant coffee. This is in contrast to countries like Italy and France, where freshly brewed coffee is the norm. But no matter where you are in the world, one thing is clear. Instant coffee has earned its place in kitchens everywhere. Here's a fun fact. Instant coffee has a lower environmental footprint than regular brewed coffee. Since it's lighter and more compact, it's easier to ship, which reduces transportation costs and energy usage. Additionally, instant coffee doesn't produce waste like coffee grounds do. So, if you're looking for an eco-friendly option, instant coffee might be the way to go. However, like anything, instant coffee must be stored properly. If it's kept in a humid environment, it can spoil and lose its flavor. But if stored correctly, instant coffee can last for months or even years. Even with all the fancy coffee gadgets and brewing methods available today, instant coffee is still incredibly popular. Why? Because it's affordable, convenient, and fast. For busy people who don't have time to brew a pot of coffee every morning, instant coffee is a lifesaver. Plus, it's easy to make and doesn't require any special equipment. In recent years, instant coffee has even been made available in new forms, such as single-serve packets or even ready-to-drink bottles. These innovations make it even easier for people to enjoy a quality cup of coffee on the go. Instant coffee is constantly evolving. With advances in technology, the quality of instant coffee is getting better. New methods of freeze drying and spray drying are improving the flavor and aroma, making instant coffee taste even closer to freshly brewed coffee. And with more people seeking quick, convenient solutions in their busy lives, instant coffee is expected to continue growing in popularity. If you enjoyed learning the secrets behind instant coffee, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into everyday wonders.